What's up, everybody? Nucleo Nick here, and welcome back to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, in the last episode, we actually met with Dr. Jekyll and had a long discussion, and basically, he's crazy, which we kind of knew that. Because I think we all know where this game is going, because anybody knows anything. Mr. Utterson's Mansion, October 1886. Okay, he's got something to say. Why? Okay. All right. Well, that was... What's the cop say? The Carew murder case. The peace and quiet of London's streets were shattered by an act of unprecedented violence. Okay, all right. So, we got a case here. Mr. Edison, are you there? I'm standing right in front of you. I'm in, I'm Inspector Newcomen of Scotland Yard. We found a letter on the body of a victim near the Thames, and it had your name on it. Was it me? <laughs> I won't say anything until I see the scene. You can hear more about it when you pay a visit to Dr. Lone's Hospital in Candivish Square. The hospital is open late at night, so we so we asked for an autopsy. Oh my. It might be more serious than it looks. So I'll take a moment to calm down first, then go to the hospital. Understood. I'll be at Dr. Lanson. Lanson? No, wait, that's uh, uh, Lanyons. Lanyons, sorry. Hospital. Once you are done, please go down to the river. Understood. I'll go after visiting the hospital. Okay, alright, so we gotta go to the hospital, and then we gotta go to the river. Okay, alright. File data. Clue. First clue. A letter. What else we got? Review. Okay, the murder, murder case. Okay, alright, so we got that. Now, map. Oh, uh, we got to go to Gurdivish Square to the hospital. I don't know how close we are to the end of this game. Because I've kind of not looked anything up because I didn't want to spoil anything. Alright, so where's the hospital at? Where's the hospital at? Wait, this guy's got something to say. Oh, I didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, Mr. Addison, how are you, sir? I'm doing fine. It's my day off. I see. How was your work? It's quite surprised to see you outside like this. Regular mail, registered mail, telegrams. My post <laughs> hustle around does keep me busy several times a day. Indeed, I am enjoying my day off. Have an enjoyable day off. Okay, all right, I'm looking for the hospital. Where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Is this the hospital? There's the hospital. There we go. We found the hospital. Yay. This dude looks scary. Utterson. Why wow, couldn't they come up with a different name? What brings you here this early morning? I'm sorry, but I don't feel well enough to speak to you right now. Please come back late. What? I'm not here to engage in idle chit-chat. May I ask why you are here? About the autopsy that you were asked to do this morning. Was there a murder last night? Yes, the corpse is in the consulting room. Wait, don't go in there. I just need to know who the victim is. I'm helping you out with the murder case. What? How can that be related to you? A letter with my name on it was found on the victim's body. Doesn't that make him a suspect, not a helper? Just say it. Follow me. I was about to say, well, follow him then. Gee. Here we go. What do you want to make about his Dr. Jekyll? Is it Mr. Jekyll? Is it terrifying? How could anyone do this to another human being? Could you tell who the victim is? Can, could you tell who the victim is, Utterson? 
I was unable to recognize the shape of his nose and jawline, or what was left of them. He was one of my clients. What? What did you say? The victim is Sir... Oh, okay, so it's not. A member of the House of Commons. He was a kind, respected... Didn't we talk to him at Jekyll's party? I feel like we talked to him at Jekyll's party. Oh, no, this will not go quietly. I'll go back and tell the inspector about this. Lord Grant... Eternal rest unto him. May his soul rest in peace. I pray that no nothing will happen to you. Two. Uh, Utterson, stay safe. <laughs> Boy. What's he say? Are you okay? Why are you worried about me, sir? Sir Dan Kern is one of them that was killed. If your name was on that letter found on the victim's body... It could mean the murderer is after you! But I don't think he was after me. Do you have a suspect in mind? A suspect in mind? I have one. But I can't jump to any conclusions. Yes, of course. I hope you find the wi a witness or evidence. But still, be careful. I feel like you and your friends are all in danger, including myself. Thank you for your concern. I'll tell everyone to be careful. You too. Stay safe. Now, what is he saying? Who could even think about murdering? Okay, all right. So now we need to go. All right, we got a clue. We know who it is. Well, respect the member of House of Commons. London Files. Okay, all right. So, review. We did that. Okay, all right. Let's get out of here. Now, all right. So, are we going to go to the river like the detective said? What does he say? Who would even think it? Okay, yeah, we already know that. All right. All right, so the, the detective said go to the river next. So we're going to go down there. Maybe the detective is down there. Or the inspector. Who? Yes, we know. Gee, how many times are you going to say that? Mr. did you see the body in person? His face was too disfigured, so I couldn't tell who he was. Did you recognize him? Um, I'm sorry to say, but the victim was Sir Denverin's Kari. Kari? My God! Sir Denverin's Kari of House of Commons? How was a very... He was very popular! I supported his politics, too! I doubt that made a more of... <laughs> I doubt... That he made a moral enemy with the parliament. This will be talked about of the city. Talked. This will be the talk of the city for certain. Could you help me find the culprit? Hmm. I'll help as much as I can. Oh, thank you. We may find some evidence on the streets. Let's look everywhere and ask around. Great. We gotta ask around. Fantastic. Are you alright? You almost fell. I couldn't find my cane. I normally use. I brought the old one. And I still brought everything else. Haha. <laughs> it looks like you need cane to walk. Yes, my leg hurts a little. I don't carry it as well. Please be careful. Do you know anything about the murder that happened near here last night? Uh, murder? I would, I would like to help you, but... Ooh, ooh. <sighs> that come out of nowhere, guys. Sorry. Oh, I would like to help you, but I don't know anything about it. Understood. All right. What about you, ma'am? What about... Come, nope, back. Thank you. I've never been here. You don't know the way either, right? You wanted to take a shortcut. If we don't hurry to the market, all the fresh meat will be gone. It was too poor to eat. I was too poor to eat meat before coming to London, but now I won't be able to because it's sold out. I need meat, eggs, and vegetables. What should I do? Oh, 
Let's ask the gentleman. Excuse me, do you know where the way to the market? Turn right at the corner and go straight to hand. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. We now we know how to get there, so let's need to hurry. Okay, well, I guess we're not talking to them anymore. I'm so glad. They look busy. It would be rude to ask them. Sigh. Okay, all right. Let's go talk to this dude down here. He looks suspicious. You don't look suspicious at all, sir. Can we talk to you? He's not wanting to talk. Is he? Witnesses. Oh, well, there's the body. There were no traces of robbery. And no business cards or ID was found on the victim's body. We did find a bloodstained letter with your name and address on it. So that's why you came so early in the morning. Yes, that's why I came to see you, Mr. Ellison. Okay, all right, that doesn't help anything. All right, I gotta ask these people. Come on, come on. She knows something. Excuse me. Sally Tucker, Sally Tucker. I ask you some questions. Yes. Did you witness the murder last night? Oh, that? That's... Are you feeling ill? Please, wait here. I'll bring a warm brandy. Really? Now we gotta go get a brandy? Seriously? Come on, now. Jeez Louise. Where are we gonna get a brandy at? There's no... Where do we get... Excuse me, guys. Holy smokes. Yawning, sneezing. All right. Um, what's the... I don't know if the... I can't remember where the bar was. I think it was here, but I'm not sure. I think it was over here. Yeah, the pub. I need a warm brandy. Welcome! What would you like? A glass of warm brandy to help someone relax. If you want to drink it right away, I just give it to you. It's not for me, it's for a lady nearby who's in distress. I'll return the glass once she's done. Is that so? Please give me a minute. Here's a glass of hot brandy. This should work. Thank you. Okay. So, he said it's nearby, but it's, that's not nearby. I'm sorry, that's, that's like halfway across town. It's like, if you look at the map, look at the map, look at that. Look at that, near the river, it's like, I would say, what, that's one block, two, three. It's like, that's like a mile, if not further. Crazy. Alright, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Where's that old lady at? Well, she's not an old lady, but... All right, here we go. Excuse me, miss. Please, drink this. It will help. Oh, no, she's allergic to alcohol. She dies. She was the only one that seen the murder. Thank you. No problem. You seem better now. I have a lot to ask you. Oh, my. Gee. Excuse me, do you live around here? Yes, I live in a building overlooking the street. So you witnessed the murder last night? Yes, I saw it. I watched it with my own eyes until I fainted at the horror of it. Could you tell me your name and address? We could use your statement as evidence. 41 Pallidee Street. My name is Sally Tucker. I see, Miss Tucker. Please tell me what you saw. The moon was very bright last night. And I was standing by the window, lost in thought around 11 o'clock. Now, now, please calm down and continue. A gray-haired old gentleman was walking down the street, and a man of smaller stature was walking toward him. When the two were close enough to talk, the older gentleman greeted the shorter man politely. What did they talk about? I couldn't hear, 
but the older gentleman pointed somewhere with his hand. So I thought the older gentleman was asking for directions. So I took it at I took I took at that other man. So I look at that other man. And it was him. Dr. Chuck. No, it's Mr. Hyde. Who's he? M -m Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde? That man! I recognized him because he had come to see my mas the master. Ask what Mr. Hyde did. What happened after that? What happened after that? Mr. Hyde looked very angry at what he heard. It also, and it was also sudden. He said something, and he swung a thick cane at the older gentleman. The older gentleman got hit a few times and ran away in alarm, but Mr. Hyde soon caught up with him. He then hit him, hit the older gentleman, and knocked him on, knocked him down. Oh my! And then he stamped on the older man, older gentleman, and kept beating him. I can't still, I can still see it in my mind. Sniff. I don't remember what happened after that. I was so, I was so shocked. I passed out. Oh no. It was 2 a.m. when I came to my senses. And that's what I reported it to the police. It must have been hard. Thank you for your help. If the witness is right, Mr. Hyde is the culprit. Her testimony seems reliable, but the more evidence and witnesses we have, the better. Please do as you wish. I am ready to search every corner of London for Mr. Hyde. Understood. Okay, alright, we're gonna talk. We're gonna go over here and get this cane. Because I believe that's the murder weapon. Piece of the murder weapon, anyways. This must be the weapon. This cane is definitely the wood does seem very rare oh, shaky, 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 shaky. <sighs> sigh does anything come to mind oh I have a friend who uses an expensive cane like this hmm I wonder where your friend got their cane from no time to hesitate I'll get straight to the investigation, straight on the investigation right away. What should we start with, then? When evidence and... We have evidence and witnesses. Jekyll cannot be involved in this case. Mr. Utterson, please call me when you are ready. Okay, what is this? Okay, alright, Mr. Hyde's house. Alright. Sorry. It looks like Mr. Hyde is the culprit, as the witness said. Do you know anything about him? I know where he lives. Let's go and see him. Thank you, Mr. Utterson. All right, so we're going to go to... Where is it at? Blind Alley? Is it in Blind Alley, I think? If I remember right. I can't remember. I can't remember anything. Do 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 Oh wait, that's the back door. That's the back door, that's the back door, that's the back door. Um Bolton Street Shoho Oh no, Shoho, that's where he lives. Remember? He lives in Shoho. But we don't have an address, just Shoho. Uh, what? Shoho, this is the place. Always gives me the chills. It's not a place for people like me, but it can be helped. In order to find out the truth, I must steel myself to withstand what horrors I might witness. Old woman. Ooh, she's ugly. Who is it? Excuse me. Is this Mr. Hyde's house? 
I'm Inspector Newcomb from Scot of Scotland Yard. This is Mr. Utterson. We are hel who's helping me with an investigation. Yes, this is Mr. Hyde's house, but he's not home at right now. Can we speak inside for a moment? Yes, please come in. Oh boy, we're going inside Mr. Hyde's house. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, all right. I'll look around first before talking to her. It's like, look at the mess. These clothes have been scattered all over the place. Maybe he was in a hurry finding something. They are all such high quality clothes. Things that a gentleman would wear. A gentleman wouldn't who would commit who committed murder. We will have to search around all the clothes shops. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Utterson, please be careful. The painting on the wall could be evidence. How would the painting on the wall be evidence? Since we have to track down the art an art dealer. Oh my gosh. Oh, the picture looks have high value, highly valuable. Yes, it does. I don't know how much the arts about the arts though. Do you think it's a painting of the protagonists from a famous play? This is what an amazing painting. It's an irony that the murderer owns such religious painting, but I get, yeah, but I guess. He must be quite schizophrenic, uh, sophisticated. I don't know. I don't know he's... I'm just curious how much he spit on that painting. Okay, can we talk to her now? All right. We're going to talk to her. We'll call it quits. Do you remember when Mr. Hyde was here last? Oh, Mr. Hyde came home late last night and went, down, went out again... An, not an hour later. His schedule is very regular, so he's not home very often. Irregular? Hmm. Old woman. He hadn't come home before that for two months, so I haven't seen him much. Gee. Wait. If you are from Scotland Yard, I... Oh, Mr. Hyde must have done something. What has he done? Oh, she looks happy. Hmm. He's being investigated in many scandalous cases. He does not appear to be a very good man. Oh, I can't disagree with that. Ma'am, we'd like to take a look at Mr. Hyde's room. Go ahead, please. Where's Mr. Hyde's room? All right, we're going to take a look at Mr. Hyde's room, but we're going to do that in the next episode, because this episode's getting kind of long. Anyways, hopefully we are wrapping this thing up. I'm not sure. I may go look and see exactly how much longer we have in this have have in the game. If you know any tips, tricks, or anything I've missed, let me know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying this, give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. It's a pleasure to have you. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.